hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Music Week, and welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. There are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities focus on different topics such as science, history, health, and even art. Today we have our activity coordinators Laura, Louisa, and myself, Evan, to help in today's activity. Today's activity is focused on music and using glass bottles and different amounts of water to make different sounds. Now let's get to our vocabulary. First, we have frequency, which is the speed of the vibrations of a sound, which determine the pitch of the sound. Next, we have tone, which is a musical or vocal sound with reference to a pitch, quality, and strength. Now we have sound, which is the vibration that travels through the air or another medium and then can be heard by a human or an animal's ear. Next, we have a note, which is a single tone of definitive pitch, which is made by a musical instrument or a human voice. Hey guys, so after learning today's vocabulary, now let's actually make some music using three glass bottles and filling them up with different amounts of water. So what we are hoping will happen is that as we fill these glass bottles with different amounts of water, this will create hopefully different sounds and tones and frequencies as we play them. Okay you guys, so now let me tell you the materials that you will be using for this experiment. So, what you need first is that you need three glass cups or bottles that you may have at home, and then you need a measuring cup so that way we can measure the amount of water that we are pouring in into the cups. And then we will need a spoon or anything that we can tap against the glass with, for example, because this is the way that we're gonna be able to tap against the glass and make sounds with. So we definitely need something like a spoon to tap against the glass. And then we need some water, or if you can, to make it easier for yourself, you can put water in a bottle so that way we don't have a hard time trying to pour the water into the measuring cup and we don't end up making a mess. But you definitely need water. And then, this is an optional choice, but if you have food coloring dye at home, please use so because it just makes the experiment, as you can see, much more pretty to look at. But this is entirely optional. So what you definitely need for sure is you need a spoon or something to tap against the glass with, a measuring cup, three glass bottles or cups, and some water. Okay, so now let's actually begin this experiment with some of our materials. So you see here that we grab the red food coloring dye and we will pour about two to three drops of the red food dye into the first cup. And then for the second cup, we are going to go with the blue food coloring dye and you will add the same amount just like the first one so you'll add only about two to three drops you really don't need that much food coloring dye all you really need is about two to three drops so definitely don't go overboard with the food dye for the third cup we will go with the green food coloring dye so this just makes it easier for us to be able to differentiate between oh the different amounts of water we are going to pour into each cup and it also just makes the experiment look more prettier overall. So make sure to be ready with the cup of water, you guys, okay? So right here you see we have one cup of water into our measuring cup. And we will pour that into the third glass cup with the green food coloring dye. And then make sure you have your water in a bottle ready to go so that way we can just start immediately pouring into the measuring cup. So as you can see here. And we will pour that into the middle cup with the blue food coloring dye. And you'll see that it's not as much as the third glass. We definitely want different amounts of water. So we kind of want to aim for small, medium to large in our glass cups. So as you can see here, I pour a little bit more water into the middle cup just because it's not that even. But yes, we definitely want to have different amounts of water. So in the first cup, we are going to have just a little bit of water into the red food coloring cup. So that way we can have a little bit of water to medium amount of water. And then the third cup will be the large amount of water. Because remember you guys, we want to be creating different sounds when we tap the glass with the spoon. Because this will create different frequencies as we tap them. As you will see right here.
Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about how does this is all work. Notice that in this video, when you hit the glass with the spoon, the glass will vibrate much faster, which is what makes this sound. Notice that when you tap the bottle with no water, there is a higher pitch or tone, which is different from tapping the spoon to a glass filled with water. So, when you add water to the glass, this will change how fast the bottle vibrates as you tap it. When there is no water, the glass vibrates much faster. When there is some water, then the glass will vibrate much slower. Hello again guys, I hope you learned a lot about tones, frequencies, sounds, and notes, and how we can create these different notes inside of music by using just water, a glass, and spoon, something to tap it. And also, thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we will be back with more videos. Thank you.